hello everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is MJ and today we're gonna be modeling a little cute little house and uh, I want to say uh, sorry for not being able to upload as regularly as I uh, normally do but uh, I'm, I'm making a really cool video for you guys it's gonna be like a mishmash of tips and tricks for SketchUp and I'm picking out uh, everywhere on the internet new tips and tricks for you and it's taken me a lot of a lot of time so today I realized I didn't upload in almost 10 days and I thought to myself why not try this format uh, where you can hear me talk and see my face while I model and it's not going to be my usual video where you just see a time lapse of the modeling uh, but it's going to be like more like a, like a follow along step by step uh, modeling uh, trip I've noticed uh, this type of model around the YouTube, um, some have already done it, so it's not quite my original idea, but anyway, uh, uh, I wanted to try it out because it looks cool and you can probably learn uh, a lot of things uh, by watching me model this and I'm gonna use uh, a lot of native SketchUp tools and also a couple of plugins and you can he hear me comment on whatever I'm doing and if you like this kind of videos just uh, drop the like and tell me if you prefer the fast ones that uh, in, in which I model a, a great deal in just a couple of minutes this is surely gonna take me a lot more time I'm sure I'm gonna have to split this video in more uh, videos so so I don't know if you like that kind of stuff uh, just uh, let me know and another thing I have to tell you before we start I'm using my own custom made shortcuts uh, i know it's a pain but it's something i'm so accustomed to that i cannot change them especially when i'm trying to make a fast video uh, this one is gonna be a long one so imagine how long it would be if i would try to remember the default ones but anyway you will see here on the screen that i have something so if I use my custom shortcut that is Control Q for line tool, you will also see what tool exactly am I using. So at least we've got that. Anyway, enough with the chit chat. This has been quite a long uh, introduction. I am sorry for that, by the way. And let's start with the rectangle tool like this. Just click anywhere. And uh, down here in the dimensions, you can type uh, 300. 500 okay so now we've got our little begin begin shape okay let's extrude it with the push pull tool and type 300 so 300 on the blue axis or the z axis and then let's go into our arc draw arc tool and let's draw an arc right here let's snap it to the green axis somewhere around here looks okay and let's do the same thing but snap it on the red axis like this okay and now i'm just gonna push pull it until the middle point as you can see when when it turns white okay this is it snaps to this white point this is the middle point and then i'm going to extrude this one over there and this one again with the push pull tool by, by pressing control so i add another face and not just move this one i just added a face with control like here and then i'm going to select everything and right click right click right click where it is where it is where it intersect faces with model okay and now let's delete this part and delete this part and we can all we can also delete this part right here and this edge right oh sorry sorry what up what was i doing no no we can't delete that that's that's the whole point okay sorry about that anyway and we can delete this oh perfect okay so we now we got our start shape Okay, I don't want to do that for every angle of this house, so I'm just going to mirror everything, but but I need to make it smaller like this, and I I want to I want to also delete this and these faces. Okay, so now 
I have a shape. Then I'm going to triple click to select all connected geometry. Right click to make a component. Let's call it house one. I'm, uh, uh, house one. I probably have a lot more of these houses. So house components. So let's start with this. Don't make it too complicated. And then again, mirror tool. Mirror, it's a plugin. You can uh, Google it. And I'm going to leave a link up here where you can find out how to download and install a plugin for SketchUp. Okay, so Mirror is a plugin. I just need to select three points that are going to define my mirror plane. Okay, so we mirror this object. I need to select both of them. And again, Mirror, another three points. Okay, okay, so now we have a component, as you know. Uh, these are all instances of the same component, so if, it, if I delete this face, all these faces are going to be deleted, but that's not what we want right now. Okay, so now this is the beginning of the shape of our house. Now, let's leave this shape alone a bit, and let's go and make a roof. And how are we going to make the roof? Let's start by uh, drawing this rectangle again, and extrude it like this. Okay, middle point here snap here and push pull this face away and we can also push pull this one and we got another half roof and then we will push pull this face but with the control so that we 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 leave a face uh, we leave a line and not only line as you can see we'll also have a face down here okay triple select to select all link geometry and make another component let's call it roof one okay and let's double click now we can delete these parts too and now we have something that's gonna be our roof kinda let's push pull it over here now that we have our roof component let's do this and let's let's push pull it a bit more like 60 on one side and 60 on the other side and then let's mirror it let's mirror it like this okay and i and i, and I want to make it a bit more thicker so this is 25 let's make it 40 so another 15 and now this is 40 exactly perfect perfect okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this this component and we're gonna change the axes uh, so that our red axis follows along this edge and our blue axis is up and then we're gonna rotate this like this okay and then we're gonna use our true bend plugin true bend true bend true bend here it is okay to like we like this 15 degrees let's try 15 degrees enter okay and now we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere and then then we're gonna open our component rotate everything press left arrow to constrain on the green plane rotate it 90 degrees and then use our true bend plugin in the other direction like this another 15 degrees maybe okay what we got now is this okay and now let's bring it back of course again left arrow on the number okay here goes 90 enter okay great 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 i want to scale it just a bit on this okay perfect okay we're going somewhere now and now i want to use the frito corner plugin because there are no sharp edges in reality especially in this cartoony looking uh, thing so let's try to use our Frito and our Frito is the one offset let's try with 10 let's try with 10 no it's too much let's try with 5 
Okay, let's try with eight. No. Six. Seven. No. Okay, let's stick with six. And preparing geometry. Okay, it's done. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Let's just go back into our roof component. Right click and intersect faces with model. Perfect. And now we can delete all this stuff here. We don't need that. Let's go back here to see what other things we don't need. We definitely don't need this space here. Hmm. <laughs> SketchUp sometimes do, does these things when it's difficult to say. Okay. Let's clean it up a bit. Let's clean it up a bit. Triple click to select all connected faces and edges. And then how to delete these faces. You can do this or you can try to use the plugin Delete Complanner Edges. Let's see if it works. Ah, it kinda kinda worked. Let's say it kinda worked. Let's say it kinda worked. Okay, and now we have our roof. It is sharp here but uh, what can you do nothing is perfect in life okay so this is the start and now let's go back into this component and let's scale it on the z-axis here maybe that's enough okay and let's select geometry and intersect faces with model just like before Okay, let's move this component out. Let's see what we got here. Okay, another glitch. And now we can delete this, and we can delete this, and this, and this, and this, and everything here. Okay, oops, sorry. All connected. And now we have a house that looks like something, doesn't it? Uh, before we go, I want to try to do another thing. Just one more thing. Select all, make it a group. And let's open the Frido Scale Box Tampering Tool. That's another plugin, Frido Scale. Check it out in the description. And we're gonna. Taper it a bit like this. Ah, and like this. Okay. Okay, now we got the cuteness out of this world. Okay, so uh, I should probably stop this video right now because it's getting kind of long already. I know it seems like we haven't done much, but actually we did and um, it took a while, but uh, we did learn how to use some plugins and we did get to this shape. You know, it's uh, we're halfway through practically, kinda. Anyway, uh, the next video we're gonna add some windows, then some doors, we're gonna add some bricks on our uh, house, uh, we're gonna add the terrain, we're gonna add some trees. Anyway, we had uh, we have our work cut out. Tell me if you like this format, uh, do you want to see more or I should just stop making this uh, house series. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching. See ya.